run game like a track star. And I ride clean in a fast car. I have a belief that it will respond the right way. Uh, that we have a bunch of men in that locker room who care for each other and want to win. You know, we find out what type of team we are. We have this type of adversity, especially to start the year. I'm going to make sure I come into the building tomorrow with a lot of energy, a lot of juice, a lot of positive energy. You know, be critical of yourself. Um, be locked in this week each and every day. We'll find a way to make the corrections. Come to practice this week, prepare, and uh, go out to Seattle and, and win one game. can welcome to the titans blitz i'm lance smith live here at nissan stadium thank you so much for joining us uh, i am by myself which is kind of strange uh for years past this is our sixth season on the show i've always been joined by my main man the one and only eddie george who we all know in case you've been living under a rock is the head coach of the tsu football team so look the guy's busy and uh and you know we we can't really we can't fill a seat like eddie's because eddie george well I mean, that guy's like the heart and soul of this franchise. I mean, let's do it. Eddie, 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 Eddie. See, that sound goes everywhere in this town. I guarantee you can hear it right now. He's waking up somewhere from a nap just because you did that. Uh, we love you, Eddie. We wish you the best uh, in all your endeavors outside the Titans Blitz and outside the stadium. Uh, and we hope you do extremely well with TSU, and I'm sure you will. And the seat, by the way, is always yours. And so we'll see you again sometime. But this season, uh, well, we're going to have a revolving door of people, people you know, and maybe some people you're just getting to know. So uh, still the same Titans Blitz. We're going to have a little fun with it. Uh, but joining us and filling this seat tonight is a guy that, well, many of you heard uh, Sunday at the stadium. In fact, this guy, well, he worked really hard to get where he's at. And, uh, well, we've got video of how he got this particular job. Check this out. Because you are officially the Tennessee Titan in-game PA announcer. Oh, Not a finalist, the victor, sir. Let's the absolute go. victor. You deserve every bit of this. Let's go! Let's go, baby! Dude, I freaking love you guys. I love Tennessee. I love the Titans. By the way, it's okay for men to cry as long as it's a victory cry. are awesome what a great environment this place rocks matt rogers oh so good to see you it's good to see you man all right so dude you're here the That's game awesome. was sunday we'll talk about the game in a minute but let's the environment the brand i mean you're a fan first just yes. like me so uh now you're here i mean like i got to know you sitting out here yep so how you feeling uh i'm feeling great it's still impossible for me to not watch that and get choked up. I tried to lose a little weight since that. I hope it's working out, but uh, you know. You look but, good, sir. Okay, good. You look good. No, but it's, it's awesome. Like, you know, I was a fan first. My first football team when I was seven years old and I played Pop Warner was the Oilers. And that's, you know, being on the West Coast, that's how I became an Oiler fan. Yeah. So when they came to Tennessee, I followed them as a Titan. So then when I came to Tennessee, I was a season ticket holder. And I've been at the Blitz a handful of times and met you, which by the way, you were always so cool to me and my kids, and I appreciate oh, that. Man, is Lance just... not great or what? Like, seriously. Right. I'll pay you later. So, uh, no, seriously. You. Like, it's, it's awesome. So to be on here now with you, it's really, like, it's an honor. Like, I don't take it for granted. Well, for real. dude, it's an honor to have you here. Uh, you know, you beat out hundreds of people to get the job. We heard you at your, your first regular season game on Sunday. You killed it. Love having your voice uh, in the stadium. Uh, and since you are a fan uh, and you know the game and love the game like we do, let's, uh, Let's get to this game that was. And let's do some Eesh. hot takes with Matt right here and All talk right. about our week one game against the Arizona Cardinals. Uh, some of you are trying to forget it already, and I don't know why. Perhaps it's the final score. Let it go. <laughs> Moving on. Look, there were, there were, let's talk about the positives. First of all, as a fan, as we're mm -hmm. fans, as you guys know, look, people back in the stadium, right? Yes. I mean, That environment from the get-go was hot. How did you feel uh, in that moment? I mean, just soaking it up and, and, and seeing us back in the house, especially with the beautiful 9-11 uh, uh, tribute that we had. I, it felt unbelievable. I got to tell you, there, there was a moment. It was about 
five minutes before I made my very first announcement. And my boss, David's like, okay, five minutes, I'm gonna go do something. And I was by myself, which is kind of odd. And dude, like I got this moment where I got choked up. Yeah. And like, almost, you know, I started crying. I had to like do one of those things like, <clears throat> like, oh, I'm not crying, I gotta get ready. Because like, I'm looking out and I'm like, look at where I'm at. Like life can change like that, like in a second. Yeah. I went from out there to in here and I'm like, look at this. And there's, you know, 65,000 people going crazy and the flags are out there and it's the day after 9-11. Yeah. And the na anthem was like something I've never seen before. And yeah. I lost it on the anthem. No, look, the, the moment was there. I did too. Uh, that anthem killed me. Uh, and then we, you know, we had to come together and play this game. And once it got started, though, it's so funny how football works. You know, we've been out of it for so long and dealing with COVID all last year. And now we have people back in the house and this game is being played. And before you know it, we're down early quick. Oof. And we're watching it unfold. And it, it's tough, but I got to say, I, I'm still looking at the splashes because you've let this stuff go. Vrabel wants to let this stuff go, but I want to focus on, I mean, I mean, how excited we get when A.J. Brown gets hot in the game. And yep. I know we're down, but with this whole time, we are the Titans, and we always come back from these things. Yes. You know there's always a chance. Look at this guy. Um, and he's playing on the field with Julio, who did not go off as we would want him to. But it's there. Yeah. Right? It is. And, and like what a lot of people forget, and of course, you know, you look at the scoreboard and, and you, you're at the game, you saw. I mean, like we have eyes, we saw what happened. But they say, you know, football's a game of inches, but it's also a game of like opportunities like this. Just, you know, play what ifs for me for 30 seconds. What if we would have made the extra point? What if we would have, would have made mm. the field goal before half? Right. Then we're down 24 10 at half. Right. Bayard gets the pick, we score. Now we're only down 24 17. It changes the whole game. And then what if Dupree would have sacked uh, Murray right before that completion would change yeah. the game. Now all of a sudden we're getting the ball back 24-17 like it's a different game. And that's what people don't talk about. So yeah, I know the score didn't show, but we were right there. We were right there and we will be right there all season. I know it because we have the talent. We have the team. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, our new PA, Matt Rogers right here. We'll see you later on in the season. Yes. We'll be here see you later in the show there were memorable moments and right now we're gonna go to break we got more titans blitz on the other side but right now here are some nissan memorable moments stick around we'll be right back murray in the shotgun takes the snap has time now feeling some pressure flush to his left throws back shoulder intercepted fired 45 40 fired to the 35 fired is going to be taken down by williams and Edmonds. Tannehill in the gun looking throwing in the end zone for brown The crowd in here. Wow, that was really good, guys. Like in unison. Welcome back to the Titans Blitz. I'm Lance Smith, still introducing you to a relatively new cast of characters here at the Titans family. Uh, my next guest, well, he went viral, big time viral, and it sort of really launched his career. You might remember this clip right here of him having a conversation with his son. Check this out. This is the grand finale of this. Okay, yeah, that's the last one. I said I was wondering. I don't know what they're gonna do next season because they did some stuff this time. Exactly what I was thinking. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Don't bring that again. You know what I'm saying? Don't do the same stuff. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I was thinking that. Yeah. Uh, I, I love that clip so much, ladies and gentlemen. That is DJ Pryor. This is DJ Pryor right here. Thank you. Thank it's you. crazy how much you've grown up uh, since being that little sitting next to your dad. Oh, you're the dad. Right. Oh, no, no. <laughs> So, so DJ uh, is here. You're from Clarksville? Yeah, I'm. Well, originally from Virginia, but yeah. you know, Clarksville, Clarksville, Clarksville yeah. Tennessee been there, guy. Yeah, been there for a while. That thing launched you, man, and now yeah. you're a comic and. Yeah, yeah. I've been doing stand up actually. Now this is my 18th year of doing stand up comedy. I started when I was, was two. Yeah, yeah, 14, 15. <laughs> yeah, and now. Uh, things it took my son to do what I've been trying to do for 18 years. Oh, is there some like bitterness there? Do you always, yeah, a little bit. Is he always yeah, looking for a he, cut? Yeah, he's always like reminding me that he's the star, and I don't really like that. So yeah, that's not cool. Well, uh, another reason you guys might know uh, DJ Pryor here. Have you guys seen the uh, the we call it work video, yeah, the, work the new video. Titans image video? My yes. man DJ is all over that thing. There he is, right there. Woo! Love this clip. 
Love it. That guy's going places. Yes. He's going places. So you get tapped to do this thing, right. and instantly it's like, man, we, we've got to have you. you got to have you, yeah. So uh, how much fun was that to shoot? That was great, man. We shot that in a total of, I think, uh, four days. Uh, and it was great. When they, when they came to me about it, they said, we want you to be you and just have a good time. And anytime I get an excuse to be myself and, and have fun, I'm going to do it. You yeah. Know I mean? So it was great. It was great. And then to represent such an amazing franchise like the Titans, that's dope. That's an honor. So, yeah, yeah that, was, no, that was great. No, it, it is. Well, it's funny because, you know, not only that, so DJ told us something that really blew our minds. You had never been to never. a professional football game. Never. Ever. Never. And it, and it was so much fun. It was so much fun. I can't, I can't describe the emotion and the feeling. I was like a little kid. I was yeah. like, everything, I was like this. <laughs> I'm really excited. It was, so was basically, that? basically, we wanted to capture that, and we did, and we're going to make him do it all year now. Here's <laughs> DJ Pryor, and all tightened up. Look at this, 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 look at that, look at that, that's serious, that is serious, he got a flame on his head, Mike, this is for you, okay, all right, let's go. trying to learn some special football game etiquette. Uh, it's, it's just, I think it's pretty much just scream. Is that the rule? Just scream? Uh, on defense, definitely. Definitely on scream defense. on defense. Right. Scream yes. on defense. Absolutely. Murray dropping. In trouble. Sack! Yeah! Season tickets for 20 years. This is my first professional game. Yeah! What's the rules for me? Rule for the Titans. Okay, well, I got that down. Number one rule is have a good time. Win, lose, or draw. Okay. Oh, damn. Oh, that's good. So I'm over here on this side. It's a little bit of enemy territory. I, I got to say, though, I do have to say this. I love your hat, though. I do love your hat, Becky. First game. Exhilarating. My feet hurt. I'm straining the top. But it was great. And, uh... I don't care, man. The Titans are the Titans. And I'm cheering for my team, the Titans! Tighten up! Yeah, all right, all tightened up from a man. DJ, uh, what, did it blow your mind, the massive experience? It was great, man. I just, like I said, the video doesn't even tell the half of the story. Uh, there was one time we almost got kicked out. They didn't capture that. Uh, we almost got kicked out. But it was great. It was great. We didn't get kicked out. We loved it. Yeah, it was great. Ha happens to me every game. Right. Yeah, no, I completely get that. <laughs> uh, we're going to have DJ uh, all over the stadium for every home game this season. So if you see this guy, give him the business. Yeah. Where can people follow you? Comedian DJ Pryor on all social media. Comedian DJ Pryor. Comedian so DJ much. Pryor. We'll be uh, seeing you more during the yeah, season. Man. All yeah, right. Let's do it. DJ, thank you so much, thank guys. You, we got more Titans Blitz on the other side. Got a trivia game coming up. Stick around. Titans Blitz live here at Nissan Stadium. I am Lance Smith, and it's time for what is sure to be everyone's favorite segment on any TV show, the Titans Trivia Gauntlet. Let's hear it. Yeah. Yeah. That 
we spent a lot of money on that. Okay, here's how it works. <laughs> got a trivia que a trivia game here being played between uh, Mike from Nashville and Chris from Jolton. Chris, how you doing? I like that jersey. Thank you, sir. Doing pretty good. You got. Doing you have. A, what do they call the kids? Called the drip. The drip or drip? A drip. <laughs> I'm dripping all day. Something like that. Uh, you're looking pretty uh, swag too. My kids. This is the way they talk to me. Uh, Mike, and you're from you're from Nashville. Yes, sir. Born and raised, baby. Born and raised. Okay, and you guys are just lifelong Titans fans. I'd say. Of course. All days. Up for grabs tonight, a signed mini helmet. I won't tell you by who until the end mm. of the game, so it doesn't mm. get vicious out here. You ready to play this game? Awesome. Let's do it. All right, we flipped a coin uh, during the break, sort of. Uh, and uh, Chris, you won that, so you're going to go first. And uh, Mike, you might have a chance to steal. Here we go. Play along at home if you want to. You get no prizes, but you can brag to somebody. Question <laughs> number one, Chris. Which former Titans player was popularly known as the Freak? I will make fun of you. Get this wrong, by the way. Uh, Javon Curse, Eddie George, Steve McNair, or Kyle Vandenbosch? That would be Javon Curse. That would be Javon Curse. Of course it would. So one point to you, sir. Very good. Mike, see how we play this game? Mm -hmm. Yours might not be so easy. Here we go. Next question. Question number two. What was Mike Vrabel's first season as Titans head coach? Was that 2016? 2017, 2018, or 2019? I'll go with 2017. 2017 is incorrect. <laughs> That's the buzzer sound. You have a chance to seal, Chris. That would be, I'm going to say 2016. 2016 is also ah. incorrect. Wow, <laughs> missed that one. The correct eight, answer is 18. 2018. 18. But he feels like he's been here for a while, right? Yeah. Like he's Uncle Mike. Yeah. We know the guy. <laughs> All right, next question. Moving on. Uh, Mike, we're going to go to you right here. Uh, who, actually, actually, Chris. Okay. Still you, isn't it? Uh, who has the most career receiving yards in franchise's Titans era? Frank Wycheck, Derek Mason, A.J. Brown, or Kevin Dyson? That would be Derek Mason. Derek Mason. Mike, you know how many? That's a really tough question. <laughs> that is correct. <laughs> correct. It's actually 6,114 yards as a Titans Oiler. Okay, here we go. Next question for you, Mike. In which Tennessee town was Titans general manager John Robinson raised? He's a Tennessee guy. Multiple choice. Union City, Columbia, Tennessee, Clarksville, or Johnson City? Ooh. Probably want to say Johnson City. <laughs> You want to say Johnson City? Do you want to say Johnson City? Now let's go with Union City. You want to say Union City? What, do you, what does your heart say? Johnson City. What does your brain say? Johnson City. <laughs> what should you be listening to? Apparently, not that. Uh, Chris, what do you say? I'm going to say Union City. Union City is the correct answer. We are going to the last question now. It is a bonus question. Let's see if you can get on the board here. You'll both have a chance to answer it. Here you go. How wide? is a standard NFL crossbar. Is it 10 feet, 18 feet, 6 inches, 24 feet, 8 inches, or 36 feet? You both get a chance to answer. Mike, go first. I'm going to go with 18-6. 18-6. And Chris, what say you? I guess I'm going to go with 24. You are going to go with 24-8. That's two points to my man Mike right here. But that is the final score of the game, but that gives Chris three, Mike two. Congratulations, Chris. You are the winner of one of these signed helmets by here, and it is signed by none other than Jeffrey Simmons. Oh, oh, right. We got a little Titans blitz on the other side. Stick around. We'll be right back. Show it off. Show it off. Stadium. The crowd is still pumped. The season is underway. Uh, something uh, very cool for a great cause is happening uh, here at Nissan Stadium tomorrow night. So make sure you go to NissanStadium.com to get tickets to Waverly Central playing White House high school game and you get these tickets for free. So come out and support these schools, especially the Waverly Tigers. Of course, as you know, uh, Waverly devastated by the flash flood, uh, their stadium, everything ruined, and uh, the Titans or Nissan Stadium is hosting the event here. It's very cool. I mean, to be a high school kid playing in a pro stadium. Dream come true. Yeah, so tomorrow night, uh, NissanStadium.com for tickets, 7 p.m. tomorrow night. Come, it's free. It's a great night. Uh, Matt Rogers, good to have you back. Our in-state announcement. Have have you been announcing throughout the house and annoying your wife? A hundred percent. Yeah, I do it before. Yeah. 
<laughs> and Terry is now entering the living room. No, I just. <laughs> and he's still married, so it's, it's working out. Uh, real quick, we got to go in like 30 seconds. Look, man, the season's underway. I'm pumped. I know you are. Got a game in Seattle. Oof. It's tough, right? Very but, tough. But we've uh, we've seen it already. I mean, it's it's Russell Wilson. And, uh, I mean, it's like it's Kyler Murray all over again. Yes. Titans yeah. do very well in the hard games, and somehow sometimes the easy ones slip away. But I feel confident. I really do. I'm not just saying that. Like, I really do feel good. Uh, I'm feeling good. Hey, look, guys, the season just started. We are back. How's it feel, huh? Yeah.